showing you how to rig jug lines. First off, what is a jug line? A jug line is a fishing technique where you attach one end of the line to a weight that sinks down to the bottom of the lake, and then you attach the other end of the line to a jug or a float of some sort. Here in Texas where I fish, you can have a maximum of five hooks on one line. You're also allowed a maximum of 20 jugs. That means you can have up to 100 hooks. There are a lot of different techniques out there to rig jug lines. What I'm going to show you today is something that is simple and easy to use. This is something that a man from Oklahoma named Donnie Mercer showed me, and I just thought I'd give him a little shout out there for teaching me how to do this. It's something that's very simple, and it's something that's going to help you catch a lot of fish. Now before I show you how to actually rig the jug lines, I'm going to show you all the different gear and equipment that I use, and kind of explain what its purpose is and how it's used. That way you have a better understanding whenever we actually rig the jugs. Okay, so here's some of the gear we're going to be using. First off, you have the actual jug itself. It's about $5 at any sporting goods store. Or you can use a bleach bottle, milk jug, whatever kind of jug you want to use. Then you have the fishing line. I like to use 50 pound test. Then you have a trot line swivel, five hooks, a spool of nylon cord, bricks for weights, a GPS to mark your jugs when you're out on the lake, two pairs of pliers, and a fillet knife. Also, I like to use a fishing gaff to retrieve my jugs. This allows me to hook the line and pull the jug to myself as opposed to reaching out over the boat, leaning over the water, and trying to reach the jug. It makes things a lot easier. Another reason you might want to use a gaff is if you catch a critter like this and you don't want to reach down and touch him with your bare hands, and if you don't want him to tear up your dip net. This comes in real handy. Okay, so now we know what all the equipment is and what it's used for. It's time to actually rig the jugs. One important thing you might want to figure out before you rig your jugs is how deep the water is where you're going to be fishing. For instance, I'm going to be fishing where it's about 50 feet deep. I want to put about 60 feet of line on my jug, that way I have a little bit of slack to work with. The reason you want to have a few feet of slack in your line is so that a big fish can't simultaneously pick your weight up and swim off with the jug. If you have a few feet of slack, the fish may be able to pick the weight up, but he's not going to have enough tension on the line to pull the jug around. And also, if he's able to pull the jug around, there's going to be so much slack that he can't pick the weight up. So the first thing you want to do is attach the line to the jug. You can use any kind of fishing knot you want to use. Just make sure that it's a good knot. The next thing you want to do is attach the trot line clip to the opposite end of the line that is attached to the jug. Once again, you can use whatever knot you feel comfortable with. Now the purpose of the trot line clip is to attach the brick, which already has a piece of nylon cord with a loop at the end, to the jug. You just clip it like that whenever you set your jugs out. It makes it a lot easier and a lot quicker to get the weights on and off of your lines. Now what you want to do is go up about a foot from the clip and tie a loop. You want to double the line up and you want it to be about six to eight inches long and just tie a simple overhand knot like this. Pull that through, pull it tight, then halfway between the first knot and the end of the loop, tie another overhand knot. What makes this rig so easy is that these loops are where you put your hooks. 
all you do is run the loop through the eye of the hook and then run the hook through the loop and pull it tight. Then you'll go up three feet of line because that's the fishing regulation. You can't have a hook closer than three feet. And you will repeat the process. Now you can set these further than three feet apart just to be on the safe side if you don't want to get your tape measure out. I know that that was probably about five feet of line between the two knots. You just do the same thing. You tie your loops. Then you run the loop through the eye of the hook. Run the hook through the loop. Pull it tight. Now what you have is you have your weight and then about a foot off the bottom of the lake you have your first bait and then about six feet off the bottom you've got your second hook like this. Like I said this is a very easy way to rig your jug lines. You'll repeat the process until you get the other three hooks on the line. Like I said, you can only have a maximum of five hooks. That's all there is to it. Now that we've got the jugs rigged up, I tied a couple of knots that were about a foot apart. Now, usually you wouldn't do that. They'd have to be three feet apart, but I just wanted to demonstrate what it would look like. You've got the jug, which is floating up on top of the water. Then you've got your first hook and then you've got your second hook. And that's all there is to it. It's very simple, very fun. I hope y'all catch a lot of fish. I know I'm going to. As you can see, jug line fishing is a highly effective fishing method. I hope this video has given you the information needed to get out there and get started. Also, be sure and check back to my YouTube channel as I hope to have some exciting fishing action coming soon.